Smoke Ed Curry, the president and owner of Made Scientist and Chef at the Park and Buff Pepper Company. And today we're going crazy in the greenhouse. We're getting things set up. We're getting the watering system set up and filling buckets, planting plants, and trying to save Dark's little uh, peewees. And uh, it looks like we're going to have a good time today. So why don't you come on in? So Dark wanted me to tell you guys what we're doing in here. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but what we're laying out is drip irrigation. And we space the plants like three foot apart and put an emitter in. You can just use the emitter and let it drip, or you can get these handy dandy drip lines that have a spike that go into the dirt that put the drip right into the dirt. Uh, but I'm just using the emitters because it really doesn't matter. It does matter like uh, if this was not an enclosed greenhouse, we use the emitters in the open greenhouses out in the fields because we don't want the wind blowing the water right out of the top. Or uh, sometimes the dirt gets clogged. This way we know the water's dripping. Even though we have drip lines going, you gotta check your pots every day, okay? And you can buy this stuff at any, you can buy it online, you can buy it at any uh, greenhouse or lawn care facility. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. We plumb it up ourselves. We just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy the pipe, put it together, put a timer on it. And we're good to go. I water at a very low rate, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening at about, I think it's eight pounds of pressure. Uh, that lets out approximately a quart into each uh, pot during the uh, drip time. We're still potting up plants. We've had a couple questions, like uh, one guy kept on saying, why are you doing this now? Shouldn't have you, you have done this three months ago, four months ago? It really doesn't matter what time you do it, okay? You can get peppers any time of the season. You just got to plan for 120 days if it's a super hot, maybe even 150, or 60 to 90 if it's not a super hot. Uh, so we're going to have plenty of time. We're blessed with a long season down here, so we'll have all the way through with this greenhouse past Christmas time without having to turn on the heat and harvest and peppers. So our fields are more important to us. We took care of the fields first and that, now we're taking care of the greenhouse. We just started these seeds, what was it, June, or excuse me, May 6th was when we planted the first seeds. We were planting for two weeks. Uh, so this stuff that we're putting in is you know 45 days old that's it some of them are peewees they're super peewees but we'll get them up and some of them are, are really nice and you can see them in the background we're going to fill out another greenhouse and this one this is 120 by 30 greenhouse so we're doing nine rows we're spacing three foot apart and three foot apart uh, it gives a nice airflow for the plants it gives a uh, 
you know, a nice look. When Dark gets super obsessive, he wants the line to be straight, you know, and the pots to be straight. And I joke with him about it, but it makes for easy picking and it makes for a beautiful airflow on the plants. Airflow is the most important thing in the greenhouse after pest control. We're still waiting on our ladybugs. Uh, we don't mind waiting because what they do is they wait for a hatch and then they ship them when they're young. And that way we get the breeding cycle and they breed again right here in the greenhouse. So as soon as those come here, I'll show you about releasing ladybugs. I have 300,000 coming. Some are for the greenhouses, some are for the fields. Linda even told me to release some at our house, but the last time I did that, they came inside. She wasn't very happy. You have to make sure that the plants are being watered. So even though you have a, a drip system that's supposed to be watering twice a day, you need to check the plants every day. Because if one of the emitters doesn't work, it gets up to 120 degrees in this greenhouse. And that 120 degrees will kill a plant in one day. So you need to check those plants every day and have a hose set up so that if you need to water something, you can fill a bucket of water. In about two months, these plants are going to be four foot tall. In three months, they're going to be eight foot tall. And we're going to need all the space that we have. And we're going to need to check this stuff every day to make sure those plants survive and we have seed stock for you. This one's going to be filled with uh, stuff for me. The other one's going to be filled with Carolina Reapers. Now, we put a filter in the line, okay? And uh, a lot of people don't, they don't know why we're doing that since we're using city water here. But, you know, city water even has sand in it. And uh, that sand will ac accumulate. That will then clog the emitters. And uh, also when you fertilize through the, the uh, drip system, uh, there's going to be some particles in there that'll clog emitters. So we use that filter to keep things clean. This year I'm not going to use any liquid fertilizer at all. All I'm going to use is the top dressing of the miracle Grow Organics. I want to see how it goes. We'll show you that in a different video when we talk about fertilizer. Since we're using miracle Grow soil, uh, the organic premium soil in the pots, I won't need to fertilize for at least 30 to 60 days. The plants will tell us if they need, if they're missing a nutrient, and I'll show you the different things. Some people have been asking me about spots, you know, on the leaves. Uh, they can come from a bunch of different things. They can be bugs, they can be water that's burned. You know, the sun burns the water, you know, dries it up too quickly and it leaves a burn. Or, you know, it could be a bacterial spot. It could be a lot of things. Whenever I see a leaf that's damaged, I just pull it off. I pinch it so I don't damage the plant, and I just pull it off. That way, you know, it gives the plant a little more time. And when they're this small, or even when they're big, it'll grow a new leaf right away. I love you. God bless you. Everybody, have a great 4th of July weekend. Be kind to one another. You see someone who needs help, help them. If you see someone who you think needs help, ask them if they need help. Together we can change the world one person at a time. God bless you. Bye-bye.